Hey man, would you please lend me five dollars? Would you lend someone five dollars? Possibly you would. Hey man, would you please lend me your life? Would you lend someone your life? Probably not. Yet this is exactly what some of your fellow workers did recently at a copper mine in Zambia when they decided to ride the belt. A maintenance team was faced with a long walk up a very steep incline to get to the next job. Running all the way up the ramp was a conveyor designed to carry copper ore to the crusher. The workers didn't want to struggle up the long steep slope, so instead they chose to ride the conveyor. Uh, the biggest uh, mistake we made was uh, riding on the conveyor belt. Senior management did not know that the employees at a lower level we are riding conveyors. Probably they have done it before and they have gotten away with it. But it's dangerous, it's illegal, and if we hadn't investigated it, we'd probably have never known. Even though they knew that riding the conveyor was absolutely not allowed because it was highly dangerous, they thought they knew better and could safely break the safety rules. We want them to be courageous to say, it's not safe. I will not do it. We want them to make the wise choice. But they certainly did not make the wise choice. Their plan was to climb on while the conveyor was switched off. Then a teammate would switch on the power and the belt would carry them up. The critical part of the plan was that as they approached the top of the conveyor, they would signal to their friend watching at the bottom he would cut the power and stop the belt, enabling them to climb off. They had effectively lent this guy their lives. When we do the daily checks, we start and stop the conveyor belt. So many times when we need to stop it, it stops. So at that time, I didn't think anything would go wrong. Sadly, what they thought would happen and what actually happened were very different. Things did go dramatically wrong. They all jumped on as planned and their friends started the belt. But while they were traveling up the slope, the guy they'd entrusted with their lives was distracted by a phone call. Hello? As a result, Hello, he wasn't yes, there to please. see their signal and turn off the power. They were now being transported upwards very, very rapidly, with no sign of the much-needed response from their teammate. They headed towards an overhead steel platform, and beyond that, to a junction where ore is hurled with colossal force down a transfer chute onto a second conveyor, which carries it to the crusher. And they were very, very frightened. I panicked. We all stood on the moving conveyor and started to move backwards. It was just to buy some time and hoping somehow uh, the guy behind would stop the conveyor behind. Walking backwards down the belt didn't help. They continued to be propelled rapidly forwards. The first guy managed to jump onto a handbrake. The second guy also jumped but failed to get a hold. He fell onto the belt and was carried mercilessly along on his back. Initially, I didn't think it was not going to be anything serious, like uh, what has happened to him. I just thought maybe we'll just have bruises or some kind of that. But... The third guy jumped and clung for his life. Somehow, he managed to hit the emergency stop button. The belt stopped, but not before their friend was catapulted down the transfer chute onto a second conveyor, still moving at full speed. During the terrifying fall between the powerful belts, his leg was caught up in the head pulley, brutally wrenched off and flung to the ground below. At that time I was confused. I didn't know anything. 
But after passing through there, that's when I realized that my leg was gone. Pain, of course. I felt pain. But the first thing I realized about my family, I said, uh, uh, I don't know what happened to my family after this. Incredibly, the shock and massive loss of blood didn't kill him. Still conscious, he was carried along the second belt towards the deadly horror of the crusher. They would have gone through another head pulley, tail pulley, shoot arrangement. He would then have gone through to the head pulley of the third conveyor. That then would have dropped him into the chute where there's ore. And that is disastrous. He would have been crushed to pieces. But he managed to grab an overhead steel strut, which he clung to in desperation, as he felt himself being dragged into his death. How he found the strength to hang on, no one knows. Of course, at that time I was in pain. Uh, I thought, um, I would die. I didn't want to lift my family alone. I want to see my children graduate and be the best in society. His teammate rushed up to save him and pulled the emergency stop cable running along the conveyor. He was lifted to the ground and cared for while paramedics were called. Quick thinking and first aid skills helped keep him alive. I saw his leg amputated. I felt, I felt bad, I felt powerless. I felt grief at the same time, but I didn't want to cry. All three of these guys lent someone their lives that day, and one of them almost paid the ultimate price. He may have survived, but both he and his family now face a lifetime of disability with all the hardship that brings, a familiar outcome of breaking the fatal hazard protocols. It's a very, very difficult situation for the family. We can just imagine what he's going through, what the family is going through. It's not an experience you would wish anyone. My job now, it will be very difficult to go back and do my job. Now, the Lagos been cut. So what will happen to our family, to my children? I'll still fight. I'll still fight. I'll still fight. I'll, I'll pray that God will give me power so that I can sustain my family. They all made their choices and one way or another they all now face the consequences. I knew that in whatever things you do, there's a consequence. Mm. But sometimes, as human, yeah, we don't, we, we forget. <laughs> we do forget about the consequence. Not until something bad happens. I feel responsible because I was on the group. I was the acting foreman, so I, when I think of it, I I do feel bad. Yeah, so this is the consequence of riding on a conveyor belt. Yeah.